This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza, sliceonbroadway.com. IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Wait for the perfect time, then you Don't give up what you want, take it back. Live from the Sorgatron Media Studio in the Beachview neighborhood of Pittsburgh, PA, it is the Wrestling Mayhem Show, episode 608. Tuesdays, we've been celebrating professional wrestling here in the Pittsburgh area, on the internet, on the Facebook Live, in your ears, on the podcast platform of your choice. Uh, I'm Mike Sorgat, Sorgatron on the Twitter here, and uh, yeah, we're going to talk some wrestling tonight. We're going to have some fun. And of course, everybody's favorite game, Mayhem Mania, coming later in the show. We got Elimination Chamber coming up this week. A lot going on with us. We got a whole crew with us. Of course, Bobby FG Town is joining us from uh, Flood Town, USA, which is probably more floody lately from the way things have been going. Oh, yeah. The other day, there was a mudslide. There's a mudslide. Mudslide. The road road that goes to my work was closed. Oh, no. (laughs) Yeah. Bobby FG Town joining us here on the line. Thank you for joining us, Bobby. Thank you. Thank you. And Just causing uh, trouble all over the internet. Yes, yes. Oh, yes, you are. We'll get into that here in a little bit. He's starting to fuse. Booker of J Town is uh is, yeah. is rocking it. We also have on the couch Chad the Sh- nope nope Chad the Shad is with us as well. Hello, 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 Chad the Shad. Right. How are you doing? Good, great. Glad to be here. Yes, <laughs> you you hung out with us this weekend. Uh, part of uh, IWC Reloaded. Uh, yeah, I on watched the video team. I watched the entire show. Through a three-inch screen. Yes, you did. <laughs> Welcome to videography. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yes, and uh, we'll probably mention that a little bit here later in the show as well. Oh, and and yeah, Sandman walked right by. Uh, the Sandman. Oh yeah, there was Sandman. They stuck Sa- Sandman like, right by you. Was was that just? Was he watching it through Sandman? a three-inch screen also? No, no. He there, was. There was a fun thing where they didn't yes. even tell us who the reset buttons were, no, and we just looked, and I'm like, I think that was was that. And I looked at, at Chachi, and he goes, and. Then, the other guys, hey, that was that was Sandman. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> sure, sure. And of course, everybody you saw on the screen was backstage, including, yeah. you know, just like you know, Ricky Steamboat and whoever else. Just it was crowded back there. And only Gilberg and the Sandman came out. So, yeah. I yeah, mean, the reset button. It's had a, it's many, a, it's many a, options. It's like the most expensive uh, and underused night of uh, professional wrestling yeah. budget, right? <laughs> yep, they were all yeah. mingling with their little cheese plates and yeah, backstage, yeah. just yeah, yeah, just waiting, just waiting for it. I mean, when you see like you know, so many Hall of Famers just become disappointed by Gilbert being selected over them. I mean, yeah, it's it's right. it's an interesting sight. Hey, that's the game you play. With <laughs> exactly. So for them, Larry is with us. What's up? Uh, along with his police escort, the boss. The, the, no, no, oh, no, 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 no. The boss no, is here no. too, but no. also <laughs> <laughs> Officer Dan Murphy is here, uh, making sure everything is okay uh, as well. Make sure the riffraff stays out. We appreciate that because his tag team partner David Lawless is on Esquire. To all you morons out there listening, you're welcome for the gavel coming on. <laughs> There's, you know, I think, since we've had you on last. Like people have accepted like morons as a term of endearment. <laughs> they have, which I I really appreciate too. That's amazing. Um, and I think well, even our our, our uh, uh, image we used for you coming on tonight was uh, I'm a moron. I, uh, yes, from uh, with Andrew Donardo. Yes, with Andrew as well. Yes. Yeah. Um. So so it's good to have you back on. I see that your uh, one either came from right from the court. Or, uh, or we're stepping our game up thanks to Locked and Loaded uh, winning uh, the Mayhemi last year for Best Dressed. A little bit of both. A little bit of both. When, when, when Gannon and Duke up the, uh, up the ante here raised the bar, if you will, I definitely had to show up in a suit. Also wore this to work along with my uh, Kofi Kingston and Xavier Wood socks. Yeah, he's got the New Day socks. New Day socks. Do they, they, have do they really on. just come in like a three pack? <clears throat> they do, yeah. So <laughs> I actually bought two sets. And gave uh, two pairs to my girlfriend, and then I kept one pair for myself. So okay, because you can't really have three socks. No, well, I mean, uh. you, well, you could if you're <laughs> Red Hot Chili Peppers, but true, yeah. yes. So we're well, not going to be shooting any of those promos. Anytime no, soon, no, though, no, so. no, 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 no. I assume that would be Biggie, right? 
naturally, 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 yeah. naturally of course. Um, <laughs> and and of course, this is your wrestling mayhem show. What was that? Was that you, Bobby? No, that was a vehicle outside. There's a vehicle outside. Sorry. Are you that close to the road? <laughs> I mean, yeah. I yeah. Never, I that sled so- happened, and just cars just are everywhere now. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, wow. I thought someone strummed a guitar. Was it a yacht? It wasn't. It was, and it was rocking. Perfect. <laughs> if you want to learn about yacht music, you can go check out uh, Wrestling Mayhem Show Gold. That's part of Patreon. We'll get to that in a moment. In the meantime, you can check out everything else that's not yacht related over at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. You can drop us a line at that when I fix it that email address. Good times. Good times, good times at oh, WrestlingMayhemShow dot com or uh, let's say Good Times at CircusTronMedia for the time being. If you really want to get a hold of us because something's wrong with the email and I haven't had a chance to fix it yet. More like bad times. Oh. Um, at sorgatronmedia.com. That will also work. Also, you can drop us a line at 412-206-WMS0. Yes, producer Missy? Bobby, you need to bring in a mic, please. He's what? in the chat room. What? what? Mad Mike is in the chat room. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh. Uh, you should okay. have an invite open. So Mad Mike uh, from Poughkeepsie, New York, should be joining us here momentarily. I also hit us up uh, Twitter at Mayhem Show. Um and uh, you can subscribe to us on iTunes, Stitcher, Spreaker, iHeartRadio, uh, Google Play Music, as well as video versions on the YouTube and Facebook page for the Wrestling Mayhem Show. And we are here live every Tuesday night at 9 p.m. Eastern time on that Facebook Live. You guys can join us in person on the internet in person. I guess that's how that works. Um, but <laughs> including um, wow, there's a lot of you guys out there. What's up, Matt? What's up, uh, Marcus? Man joining us. BC Steel. Uh, Larry is somehow in both places. Uh, <laughs> I'm everywhere. Uh, what's up, uh, Mike, Tina, uh, Brandon's out there, Tom's out there, Christy, thank you so much for joining us in the chat room and rocking with us hey, uh, here on a Tuesday night for some wrestling mayhem. Also, thank, uh, check, thank you to our streaming partners, the405media.com, where you can... Uh, you can you can, um, sorry, I'm reading notes in here. You can listen to us as you fall asleep to the sweet sounds of mayhem at uh, midnight Eastern time every night, seven days a week, 9 p.m. Pacific time, uh, where they're replaying the show for us. Thank you so much for those guys for supporting us and putting up with our weird show titles. Um, also, thank you to our Patreon supporters. Um, you can uh, support us at patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show, including our fan of the show, $1 level, Bo Diggity! Ed Burke, Bobby F. J. Town, and Tina Keys, and as well as the Pocket Club Five Dollar Level. We're going to learn about yacht music this week. Occupy Pro Wrestling and Christopher Bishop, and the Ten Dollar Pizza Club Level. Billy Johnson, who I need to point out. Wait, where did I put everything? Oh, Oh, wait, it's over there. Uh, Larry, can you go grab the uh, the the goodies? Not not the boss goodies. We'll just show the boss goodies. Go grab the goodies, Larry. Well, first of all, Billy Johnson (laughs) dropped by the show, and as you can see, hanging out. uh, It's been behind Larry. He's, he's hanging out. No, not that. Not that. The, the, the calendar. The calendar. Where's the calendar at? Of course, the boss is part of it. Uh, part of this. By the way, this is this is the first time we've had a new Sandy in the in there. I actually had to punch her out of the cardboard. Um, so that was kind of cool. Uh, That's violent. That was, <laughs> you no, have a police like officer and a lawyer I, uh, here, and you're admitting <laughs> to punching out a woman. Um, but uh, no, no, it's cool. Uh, to show her who's boss. Yep. <laughs> whoa, 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 sorry. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, and also, buddy. Larry, uh, let's let's recover this segment. Uh, we also have a, a happy Rusev Day 12 month calendar, <laughs> and it's got it's all 12 months is uh, pictures of Rusev. And every single every day, day is Rusev. Is Rusev every day, day is Rusev. It lets day. you know exactly when Rusev day, day is, has been, and will be for the rest of 2018. This oh. year was not a leap year. What's, this was not a leap year. What's today? What's today? Today is uh, Rusev Day. <laughs> yep. yep there goodness. you go. There you go. Sure is. <laughs> Rusev Day. Look at uh, that. Rusev Day. Thank Rusev you so Day. much, uh, Patreoner Billy Johnson, for stopping by the studio with the gifts uh, this week and uh, helping us. <laughs> we just sitting it in the middle over there. Yeah. I don't think that's in the shot, though. That's okay. Oh, yeah, it is a little bit. There, there we go. go. That's there okay. you go. Yeah. Yeah. That's- Oh, there we go. Yeah, they got the Rusevness going on over there. there Thank you very go. much. It's perfect. And uh, again, you guys can also support the show at patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show. We do accept gifts as as is very obvious. Um so I want to talk about first, you know what? Let's talk about Bobby. 
Hey, Bobby. That Bobby. Guy has a lot oh, wait, wait, wait. First, I'm sorry. First of all, let's introduce, since uh, we only heard his voice in the background, Mad Mike from Poughkeepsie, New York, is the only Mayhemer that has a future Endeavor letter from the WWE. And um, apparently, I am not the only Mayhemer that has actually booked a feud for WWE. Mm-hmm. <laughs> apparently not. <laughs> uh, but no, Bobby F. J-Town is, is the one that did that. Bobby, you made WWE.com today. I, I did. And I... Because I don't know how. I oh, tweeted you know at, how. I know how. You know what you did. I set off Bianca Belair. Well, and I, we have you, you sent us a screenshot over here of by accident, um, uh, yeah, by accident of by uh, accident. I, this is from the website and it's showing it's showing Bianca Belair. Uh, you're not me. You'll never me. The hair whip is mine. Have a seat. Matter of fact, have several seats. And it's got a link here. It doesn't show. What is your tweet in this? Uh, my tweet was. Let me see. It was. People have been like retweeting it and stuff all day. Um, <laughs> that happens when you're famous, Bobby. They get blown up. Yeah. Not quite. Bobby um, F. He's, Town. he's he's the EST on the Mayhem show. Yeah. <laughs> I put. I said. Um, I tweeted at the uh, Bianca Belair. And I said, would like a word with Mandy on the proper way to pull this off. And it was a gif from Total Divas Eps of Mandy doing the hair whip. Mm-hmm. And then she tweeted that, like, didn't tag Mandy in it, but Mandy somehow found out about it. Oh, yeah. That's and, pretty and, great. That's awesome. And then, and then uh, got Goldust involved. Mm-hmm. Paige was involved. Uh, Montez Ford was involved at one point. Wait, who? <laughs> nice. Oh, From the Stir Street Profits. Pot, Bobby. Yeah. Oh. Stir that pot. That's that's her husband, I think. Oh, jeez. Really? Oh, wow. Yeah, okay. I think so. I think oh, either shit. they're engaged or married. But yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> so, yeah. It was it was an interesting day. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's like, awesome. My little tweet showing up on WWE.com. Bobby, um, if Bianca Belair shows up on the Raw after WrestleMania... To go after Mandy oh, Rose, that'd be great. This is all you're doing. Mm-hmm. That'd be amazing. I'm just saying, if that happens, it, this is all I, I do. I don't know if it'll happen. I mean, she's ready for the main roster. She's she great. is. She definitely. I thought and, she was going to be in the Rumble. She's my favorite wrestler this week. <laughs> <laughs> Naturally. <laughs> Naturally, yes, yes. But um, yeah, and, and and like I tweeted last night, and I I was like really happy with one of my tweets. That got like a lot of like retweets and stuff it was the brawn is the 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 brawn is the new uh glass breaking yeah i saw that and it really is i uh, was like oh, this, this is a good night on twitter we we were talking <laughs> 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 i know we were talking uh, you know? we we're talking about a little bit before show um um it seems like like brawn yeah, you know, I was watching the Hulu cut, and we'll we'll talk about that a little bit here in a moment. But uh, <laughs> like, yeah, right. Uh, you know, seeing the entire crowd behind Braun after he's destroyed the entire mm-hmm. Mistourage yet again, um, like, the entire crowd raising their arms in Braun fashion is one of the greatest sights in a while. And the the reaction that Miz had when he realized Braun was the last person to come out, and when Braun's music hit. Mm-hmm. Like that reaction was akin to like Vince McMahon pissing his pants over Stone Cold. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, it was um, great. So, so let's talk about the the uh, was it two hours, hour and a half match last night? It was a two, two hour. Match. It was two a hours, two hour yeah. match. Now, now they said longest match in WWE history, maybe. Well, yeah, they, they said they said, that. they said the longest said match. Well, well, yeah, because they said the longest match yeah. previously was eighty minutes with uh, Bruno San Martino and Waldo Van er- Von Erich. I heard that bit. Okay, and I mean, but again, this is a gauntlet, so I think it's a little fuzzy I, math when you get to that point. I, I think it was that was the longest that uh, anyone was in the ring for WWE. Was it the yeah. same referee? Uh, yeah. Okay, but uh, Seth was the longest uh, person in the ring for Raw. Just, yeah, just yeah. yeah. sixty-five yeah. minutes was it? Fifty-four. I don't think it went to six. Oh no, it did go over no, an hour. You're yeah, right. It was, it was, it was about six, sixty-one minutes. minutes. Sixty-five minutes. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's amazing. And again, I was really sad. I didn't get to watch Raw last night. Uh, David, I think you said you 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 were occupied my power. As well. My power. Your went power out. was out, so you are occupied. Of course, the one night that Raw has two hours of wrestling, my power's out. <laughs> Absolutely, and it doesn't record either. So. It's right. great wrestling. Yeah, yeah, and, and they have a two-hour gauntlet match. And usually, when you hear about a gauntlet match going into something like Elimination Chamber, you're like, oh, great, they're going to stick six people in here in 20 minutes, right? And they did 
absolutely the opposite. Yep. Mm-hmm. Now, now, Mike and I talked about this last night, and Mike, uh, uh, you you said you uh, you had your thoughts on it. I want to touch on that real quick. <laughs> But but otherwise, like every tweet I saw was about how amazing Raw was last night. It was. Yeah. So, uh, Mike, real quick, uh, uh, just give me a quick summary of your opinion from uh, the wrap up last night. I I thought the beginning, everything with Seth Rollins was fantastic. Mm-hmm. I thought that was great. Um, because uh, I believe Matt Carlin said it earlier on Twitter, like you didn't know how long Seth was going to go. But once Seth was eliminated, I thought the match really kind of slowed to a crawl. Mm. Uh, but just for a couple of different reasons. One, the other people in the middle of the match, like once Seth Rollins wasn't going to win, at least I personally knew who was going to win the match. And it took out all the thunder for me. Like, because it's Elias, Finn, um, Miz and Braun, like, gee, who's gonna win that? Braun's gonna win. Mm-hmm. Finn had a good chance, though. Yeah, but the o- the only three people that could have realistically beat Braun on some level were Roman, Cena, and Seth, probably. Oh, yeah, Miz, Miz did the skull crushing. Yeah, no, doing Miz, last night. what's that? Larry? And he did, but but then but then Braun gorilla pressed him out of the ring for a two count. That's where I was like, oh, all right, this is just what we're doing. But I don't know. It, it, it was a good match. It to me seems like seemed like the wrong time mm-hmm. because yeah. because it, it, I didn't think it was good build for the elimination chamber. Mm-hmm. It because, focused on all all the participants. I say, give yeah, a lot, and you say it was you, for you, nothing. You said it was, it was for for, for a lot of momentum and everything. And and I think I think the match kind of stands alone on its own too. Yeah, as Can't just because this this like this like underlying current of Seth wanting to be kind of Mister Monday Night too. Yep. Mm-hmm. So this is like his proving ground of sorts, like this this kind of thing. Yeah. And yeah. he had a shirt that said Monday Night Rollins. What did you expect? Yeah, that's right. But look, yeah. that's what everyone's talking about is the performance that he turned in. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So so like that that was you know again you don't have to win the match to you know, kind of win the night, right? No. Uh, mm-hmm. and, and being that, like, that's going to be the history. That's going to be something on Raw 30. You know, is, yeah. the, is the night that Rollins, uh, uh, you know, took it to the limit on 60, you know, against, two, you know, three of the, okay, two of the best uh, names, and then getting beat by Elias, of course, which we'll see what he he is in five years. Um, but uh, I'd say three, Sorg. In three years? No, three I'm, years. I'm saying in the next anniversary. Right. Oh, oh, oh so, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. So I also like the interviews, like during the match, like after somebody was eliminated. I thought yeah, that I, did, I didn't like Cena's interview. Well, yeah. well, Cena's interview was <laughs> really. He was distracted during the interview. He's distracted. You, no one can be distracted for like thirty-five minutes. The amount of time he was in there with Seth. He had like, a lot on his, he, he like he wasn't, his mind. He wasn't, even giving Seth, he wasn't even giving Seth props. He's like, oh, yeah, I got a lot on my plate right now. Cock blockers isn't looking too good. <laughs> <laughs> Ferdinand's coming on Blu-ray. Put it in your Easter baskets. Like, come on, bro. I just want like, to be a Shinsuke now. Shinsuke yeah. now. Uh, like Chad, well, Chad, what were your thoughts on the match? Loved it. Loved it. I, no, I See, I liked it because I honestly thought it built every – I talked about this before – before we went on the air, how it made everybody look strong. It didn't make any one person that's mm-hmm. going into this elimination chamber look weak. Mm-hmm. As in, like, your throwaway participant, you're the Carlito in the elimination chamber, or the Chris <laughs> Masters in the elimination chamber. Yeah, the one person you know they're getting just all the finishers yeah. and they're getting eliminated. Yeah, mm-hmm. you're there for fodder. Mm-hmm. And I, I thought everybody had a strength. And, and Cena and Reigns didn't really need to be propped up mm-hmm. that they lost clean mm-hmm. and it's surprising for them so that gives them doubt going into the chamber rollins can go is he going to be able to keep that kind of momentum he mm-hmm. spent so much on raw is he going to be able to keep that up when he goes in the chamber ron's a monster so we've all seen that miz looks like he's poised and his two goons what are they going to do are they going to try to get in the chamber for some reason miz well, is crafty and now Elias you- is the last guy in 
Mm-hmm. With with Braun winning the, the time. with yeah. Braun winning the gauntlet too, you now have the mechanism for all the participants in the elimination chamber to team up on him to eliminate him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So if he gets if if there should be no eliminations by the time he gets in the chamber, you have five people collectively trying to pin him, which keeps him strong if he loses. Still, I I liked it better than other build ups where they say. You know, contestant one is going to play, is going to have a match against contestant three, four against five, and six against two, you know, Mm -hmm. throughout the whole night where they just do like this. Yeah, here's all these single matches that don't really, like Mike said, don't really mean anything. But this gauntlet didn't, in the end, didn't really mean, didn't didn't have like a prize at the end. Yeah, but how many things, how many things is like building on a raw do? So, but all the gauntlet is, is one on one matches. Yeah, yeah. But, granted, it's in succession, but it's, an endurance, endurance. but it's still the same thing. Yeah, but it's they're all tied into each other. <laughs> yeah, they're not yeah. they're not just one offs. Okay. Yeah. All right, but I that's mean, that's where I don't want to see I don't want to see bland one offs where it's just going to be yeah you're Strowman's going to face him. I didn't know who was coming out next. I would yeah. totally I would rather right. see. I didn't know who was. I would rather see a gauntlet match than a tag team match where you have yeah. like yeah. they did with the women where you have. Yeah. Everyone who's facing each other, teaming four on three. And I will yeah. say, I will say, towards the end of Raw, it got a little slow. Mm-hmm. But you had and two I, hours of wrestling. Yeah, I thought the women they could have done a little better job propping mm-hmm. them up. I think they should have had the gauntlet at the but end of the night, though. That's where I. That's where I definitely didn't want the gauntlet. I'm yeah. glad they did it at the beginning of the show. I think for for, for viewers, early. yeah. If you, I mean. If you start a show with wrestling and you continue into the half an hour, the 45 minutes, now you're starting to pick up momentum saying there's still wrestling going on. There's still wrestling going yeah. on. And that's yeah. what's getting people to tune in. So one of the uh, headlines I saw, I can't remember, probably Cage, cage uh, Match or something, um, said uh, WWE finally gets the three-hour Raw format. Huh. Oh, <laughs> God, no. No? <laughs> no? Not if they do it. Not, no. Now, if they did this every single Monday, yeah. that's a problem. Exactly. Yeah. If they do it once or twice a year, I'm okay with it. From the chat room, uh, Dave Fodner said that all WWE math is fuzzy math, by the way. Uh, Matt Carlin uh, added, once Seth oh, was out good. of the match, uh, the math slipped from awesome to very good. <laughs> this is true. I, I, very good is still still better than good. And yes. I'm going to make a comment. I don't know if you saw this comment also from Matt Carlin's that uh, they made last night a lot more memorable than it had any right to be. Yeah, it's true too. I mean, it could have been just a throwaway thing, but you know, the, to have a match like that uh, was, was great. I mean, really what, when, but, but what's memorable besides Seth Rollins, having like, two Ra- hours Rollins, straight of wrestling on Monday night. Went, Raw. If Rollins yeah. went all the way to the end yeah. and then got destroyed by Braun, I agree. That's memorable. I thought the Braun missed. Yeah, but was then memorable. that would hurt Rollins. If yeah, I think so. I don't think it would hurt Rollins. At that point, he would have gone over an hour and a half and then got destroyed by a man who literally flipped a truck. Yeah, it, like I still. I don't, I don't like, think that's nearly as exciting like, as what we got still, last you, night. You keep, yeah. like, keep, they, keep them away from each had, other. They, yeah, I feel like the booking on it could have been done better mm-hmm. because yeah. Rollins doesn't need that monster of a push necessarily i think you could have uh, had no but you could have had someone like, needed something back but you know who needs it more finn balor also i and i can't finn I, balor I, seems like complete junk right now mike mike I, and this is what i keep rolling back to this thought mm-hmm. like you're, you're like what the hell does this do for this weekend and i think you also have to think what does this do for whatever they ha- they're doing after this weekend too like this is one piece of a giant tapestry that leads to WrestleMania. Yeah. Right, Sorry, right. They're doing Roman Reigns versus Brock Lesnar. No, my ten bot debt bet says no, and we'll settle that this weekend. I think, <laughs> I think, I think Rollins is on a huge redemption arc. It could be back to yeah. WrestleMania. Yeah. But I, the other it's thing is too, this could this could be title. a little bit of a distraction <laughs> where you have you mm-hmm. know Finn Balor comes out winning the Elimination Chamber. That's who I'm picking to win. Because I mean, if you think about it too, notoriously the WWE has allowed or has booked people that have kind of been on a little bit of a losing streak to come out and shock the world when they come into the elimination chamber. So I don't think he needs any propping up at all. Um, I think he still has the Roman NXT Reigns is also on a losing streak. He lost twice to Miz and he He's lost had four Rollins. WrestleManias in a row. Main no, event. That's true. Make yeah. it five. No. Four ain't enough, man. I, I need five. I don't I don't think 
I, I don't think out of all the men, I don't think he's primed to do. I think he's primed to have a different kind of match. I really, oh. I really think Rollins. I mean, he got hurt. Uh, he, he just hasn't been there. I really think he's. I think they can put him in that spot. What did he have? La- he was hurt last year. No, no, no. No, he, last year he faced he Triple, Triple H, H. Yeah. and the whole story was that he was using the pedigree as a finisher. Yeah. Until he beat Triple H with his own move. Yeah. And so the year before he had been injured at WrestleMania, yeah, yeah. so he couldn't compete. And the year before that, he had won the uh, heavyweight title when he cashed in in yeah. the Roman Reigns and Brock Lesnar. And had Randy Orton earlier in the night. So, Correct. But yeah. the whole story with him and Triple H was that Triple H came out during the Fatal 4-Way to crown a new Universal Champion yeah. after not being on television for months and gave Seth Rollins a pedigree that allowed Kevin Owens to win the Universal title after Finn Balor got injured. Yeah. So the whole story came back to it with Rollins getting redemption on Triple H. And some of the rumors have been that it's going to be Rollins, Reigns, and Lesnar as a triple threat match, which would be a rematch, essentially, of the WrestleMania 31 yeah. main event. Yeah. 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 Could be. That's a little be more, okay little more probable. Than that's just definitely reigns. more palatable. Yeah, Throw I can. everybody in one giant match. That's definitely a little. I can, I can take that a little better. But I'm. I really don't want Reigns by himself with Lesnar. What the hell? Brock Lesnar's daughter will become Universal Champ, says Duke Davis. And yes, <laughs> and, and yes, Duke. There, is, I believe there is some pizza left in the studio. So, um, come on down. Come on or, down. <laughs> or there's a big swerve where Brock just keeps the title. And he stays till SummerSlam. There you go. Oh, God. No. <laughs> I, was gonna say, no. I, thought, I thought you were going to say there's a big swerve and there's no pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise. Lesnar ate all the pizza. Yeah. Uh, the pizza of which, lost the gauntlet. Universal match. pizza champion. Yeah. Speaking of the pizza in the studio, thank you so much to our friends at Slice on Broadway supporting Pittsburgh Podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza for a good long time here. Feeding our guests that come in the studio here. Uh, for this and the awesome cast here because it is podcast night in the steel city and we thank everybody joining us live and them supporting the show as well it's great having wrestling conversations with the uh crew down there by the way billy i don't know if you've seen billy's uh um um uh facebook or twitter later lately but he's got a big boot and it's just a reminder of uh what do not kick down the door at slice on broadway guys no he reinforced his foot he's so reinforced that he, it? he can kick, kick the door down <laughs> the door you kick the door in no yeah. no 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 you just gently what is the process again don't hit it with a gavel you no place, don't hit it with a gavel hit it with a big no. gavel you place your foot <laughs> upon the door and then kick it open and tell them this, this the, the mayhem show sent you the mayhem show sent you go check them out they're right here in beachview the original mm-hmm. the og carnegie pa pnc park home of the pittsburgh pirates as well as east liberty their newest location and if you guys, I know there's a lot of West Coasters out there, and every time you get a chance to visit here in Pittsburgh, we definitely recommend you go checking them out. Let me do a little sub plug for Slice on Broadway also. If you are going to the Pirates game and you notice that any of the marked entrances are a little bit long, typically on the weekend games, go through the entrance at Slice on Broadway, which is on the same street that has the um, Better, Roberto Better. On, on, with the Clemente statue. Yeah, You'll still be able to get the same prizes or whatever giveaways they have and you can get some delicious pizza on your way in and the line's always much shorter because it's a that that it's a actually is secret. how i it's got how i went to my last pirates game yeah i stopped i stopped at slice with the carlinses we had pizza and he and we walked right in it's the best place Just to enter the stadium the there you go Get the get the free smells while you're going in, or get yourself a slice. Bingo. Yeah. There you go. Or a couple, to, if you like. Thanks me. to our friends, slice on Broadway. <laughs> By the way, we mentioned the gavel. We, we we mentioned the gavel. Oh, the large gavel. We, we yeah. brought the large, large gavels now, over there. Last time you were on, we large. had the interview. We talked about it about yes. how you had the large one. We showed a clip of me using it against yes. Peyton Graham. At I the, got to uh, see it in person yep. at Rise, um, uh, taking on the the bullet catcher, uh, uh, Braddock. Yep, uh, Drake Braddock. Um, it's right over here, Larry. Can you grab that? It's it's, it's not looking great these days, unfortunately. No, this so so but, the, uh, the gavel snapped. Um, this is actually the second large gavel that I've broken. <laughs> um, you need a longer thread, man. So this is the big gavel. It uh, is a real. It's a real gavel. It's real wood uh, from the website greatbigstuff.com. Nice picture Going there now, and. Um, <laughs> Yeah, so I had a match with Lee 
Uh, actually, this was the match to get to the finals of the Rise Grand Championship Tournament. Uh-huh. And uh, after kicking out of my finisher, I decided to get the gavel from under the ring. I went to swing, missed. It hit against the mat, snapped clean off, and then Lee hit me with my finisher and his finisher to win the match. So I'm going to get you, Lee. And the gavel broke. <laughs> and the gavel broke. So now I just basically have a uh, like a banister <laughs> for railing. <laughs> And uh, I just basically have a wooden football. I, I feel like this is what footballs looked like, it's like in a, like in Amish country. Giant. Papa, do you want to throw the football with me? And now they have a British accent. So like a giant pepper shaker. Also, no electricity in that football. Bingo. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. We could turn it into what's the um, uh, the Faraday flashlight where you like shake it and <laughs> it somehow conducts the light. It's got a dynamo in it. I love it. So, so Larry, you you had asked about uh, if he if he could bring it. Because you wanted to see it, I, I, yeah, I wanted to see how they made it, and the, and the response was amazing because it was, uh, well, it's with me at all times. It's oh. in the trunk of your car, right? Well, we talked about that. I think we talked about this last time I was on the show. But if I get pulled over by law enforcement, <laughs> uh, thankfully, Officer Daniel, there you go, there you me, go. so I'll get out we'll of trouble. <laughs> but if yeah. they ask to search my trunk, they're going to find a merch bin with my <laughs> Gavel David Lawless T-shirts, a uh, plastic torso to display the T-shirts, a plastic T-shirt. <laughs> And two broken gavels, so they're not going to know what the heck I'm doing. Breaking news, sir. Uh, you building a railing back here? What yeah. is this? <laughs> they're actually Breaking ski news. poles. They're actually ski poles. There you right. go. There yeah. you go. Repurpose them. You're the fanciest. So many different things I could the do. The fanciest with this. guy on the slopes. Yeah, uh, I'm a woodworker. That's, that's what I do. <laughs> I tape them together. It, it goes as Donatello's uh, bow. There for, you go for Halloween too. Many uses for this actually. So. I will need to get a uh, a new large gavel at some point, though, because originally um, I, it was kind of my calling card. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, uh, you can also buy two giant bacon strips on here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're actually at greatbigstuff.com. Yes, I'm at it's, a fanta- com. it's a fantastic. Did Anything it, you can imagine big, they have it. Do 32 they, inch bacon slices. Yep. Do they sell giant pops? They do. $89. Do they really? Yeah, like the big, the big cans. No, no, the pops. Like, the like, Bobby oh, giant pop Funkos. Yeah. Oh, oh that I don't know. That. Mm. Mm. Goes there we now. lost him. <laughs> he's 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 going deep. He's going in the deep web for this one. <laughs> and a <the> giant corn cob. <laughs> oh. Giant ketchup bottle. Ideally, I would need a sponsor. I need a sponsorship from them because the way I'm blowing through these gavels. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm a giant pickle. <laughs> It's not, it's, it's not cheap being the gavel, David Lawless. No, it isn't. That. No, it isn't. Absolutely. Well, uh, we'll start a GoFundMe page if you want to help uh, oh, with a new gavel. Yeah. Everyone, everyone GoFunds me something. So <laughs> go, buy, go. Some, buy some T-shirts and, uh, and support the, the new gavel. Uh, hold exactly. on a second. We got somebody coming in. Uh, Officer Dan, can you, uh, can you check on this fellow over here? Search him. Search him. Yeah. <laughs> License and registration. <laughs> Uh, Matt Collins is here. That means Mayhem Mania is coming up here in a little bit here. Uh, but in the meantime, we do have a question for the gavel in the uh, chat room. Nice. Uh, from uh, somebody named BC Steel. Oh, boy. Uh, he BC says, uh, uh, oh, no, it moved. Okay. Uh, what are your thoughts on people who split who split tens and we able oh. to ridicule them or should we okay. silently judge them? I don't oh. know. Oh, fuck them. Uh, them. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I think that was that was said. I'd say it a little more artfully, but absolutely, you can ridicule anyone that does that when you're sitting at a blackjack table. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I just I just got back from Atlantic City. If I saw anyone doing that, I would reach across the table and bitch smack them. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's a, it's it's a pretty bad. It's it's just as bad as staying on a seven when the dealer showing ruined, the bus. It card. ruins the entire mojo of the table. Yes, it does. It ruins it completely. It does. Everything I know about gambling, I know from a Kenny Rogers song. Um, anyways, uh, so Elimination Chamber, we Elimination. talked. I think we talked pretty good about uh, the main. I, it's the main. It's the the guys match for the number one contender um, that has everybody that we care about in professional wrestling right now, and John Cena. Um, <laughs> unless you're Marcus <laughs> Man, unless you're Marcus, unless you're Marcus Man, John Cena is fantastic. Yes. Right? Oh, he's amazing. You yeah. see that that crazy. Um, um, what was that? Very a neck breaker, like a jumping neck breaker kind of thing he pulled off there. Had him on his shoulders and swung him around to it. Oh, a yeah, breaker. yeah, yeah. Like that was yeah. Yeah, he's, he's constantly adding. Yep. So, so uh, you know, he's up to about seven moves of doom 
at uh, at this point. But other than that, the, you, you got that, and and we we have. Um, I think we talked. No, it was on the other show. Um, our picks. I think, uh, uh, Larry, you said that you want the um, uh, you want Finn Balor to win. Yes, for uh, yeah, elimination chamber. Yeah. Okay. Okay. What about you, Chad? Um, I'd like to see Rollins. Win. Rollins. Yeah, my surprise pick would be Elias. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's. I'm going thing. Elias. I'm going all the way with Elias. No, let's, let's do this. I'll say Rollins. I'll say. Rollins. Yeah. Uh, what about you? I, I think realistic, I, I think Finn Balor. I'd love to see Finn Balor at mm-hmm. WrestleMania versus Brock Lesnar. I mean, that's the match that should have happened about a year and a half ago. Do New Japan, guys. Especially after the AJ Styles-Brock Lesnar match. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because you know, you, you we got a taste of how he works with smaller guys. Yeah. You know? Yeah, he does really well. <laughs> well, and look, if you <laughs> put Finn Balor at this match, it gives the, Finn, the Balor Club, as they're now known, Mm-hmm. The opportunity to really come and give him the assist, so mm-hmm. it's not just a clean one-on-one victory. Maybe he'll have a little bit of a not turn, but a little more like, yeah, maybe I'll get some help. Or kind of situation. You debut some new individuals that may be affiliated with Finn Balor as well. Mm-hmm. Could you could you imagine AJ Styles and Finn Balor walking out of WrestleMania with titles? It'd be incredible. And two sw- and two sweeting each other. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Like I could, I could imagine invasion complete. A, a WrestleMania, a WrestleMania twenty moment with the Bullet Club victorious. Yeah. 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 Most likely. I mean, it's crazy. I was, I when when my power was out last night, I went back and watched uh, some PWG DVDs that I had from like 2015, 16, and most of the guys in PWG now are in NXT or they're yeah. on the main roster. Like. Yeah. It's awesome to see all this great talent moving its way through the WWE because and giving us two hour matches that are aren't boring. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. So yeah. awesome, uh, uh, Mike. I think you mentioned yours already. Uh, well, no, I, I mentioned who I think is going to win. Yeah, I think yeah. Roman's going to win. If I had my pick, if I had who I want to win, it's Miz. Mm-hmm. 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 Miz has been the most consistent performer again. In the past six to eight months of WWE programming, every I, Miz segment is solid. Every Miz segment is gold. He has made everyone he's been in the ring with. Absolutely. Agreed. Agreed. Absolutely. Yep. What about you, Bobby? I, th- I want Finn to win. I think Roman. Thank you, Bobby. No, I, I, I knew that all along. Okay. Yep. I wasn't no influenced by you. Don't, <laughs> don't use your powers for bad, Bobby. Just don't tweet it. Yeah, yeah don't, don't, don't tweet it. Don't tweet it. Don't tweet That's it. true. No, 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 no. I'll tweet it out and tag Roman in it and oh, see what he no, says. No, 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 no. <laughs> and then, of course, we also have the first ever we have the first ever women's uh, elimination chamber match for the title for Alexa Bliss, uh, where uh, we have. Oh no, that's not that's not the women. I clicked the women thing. Come on. <laughs> I can't remember who all's in it. That's not a woman. There it is. That's no woman. <laughs> well, we got Alexa. We got Bailey. We got Sasha, who's hanging out over there by Larry. What's up? And uh, we got uh, the those other girls. And, those uh, other girls. Those, <laughs> those other girls, girls have no names. Sonya Deville. Oh, so, the Absolution my. Girls. And Mickey James. It, did, it escapes me at the time. I almost said Shayna Baszler, and that's Mickey not the James right one. Mickey James survived being yeah. hit by a train. <laughs> oh, no, no. Oh, what are they doing? Sorg. What are they doing with Mickey James' picture there? It doesn't even look like her in this thing. What is that? It's a lot of airbrushing. Maybe, yeah, airbrushing. why? Anyways, no so the women are in elimination chamber. Um, it feels like they ran out of women when they threw the Absolution Girls in there. Uh, the elimination chamber. The elimination. <laughs> <laughs> I think we have the name of the show. No. Women nation oh. chamber. Women Asian I feel like that's going to get us in trouble. What? Mowage. Mowage. Anyways. The Elimination Chamber is why we are all here. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you had more. I, I think. No, that, so, was that was it. So, right. Sorg, which lady do you want to win? Which One, lady? two, three, four, <laughs> five, or six? <laughs> <laughs> so Sarah, do you nice. do you want the blonde one to win? Do you want the the pink haired one to win? Uh, do you want the huggy one to win? Which which one? The huggy one? Yeah, isn't isn't Bailey in this? Yeah, yeah. yeah, the huggy one, the one that's wearing huggies. I think yeah. it's I think it's Alexa or Bus on this one. I agree with you. Yeah, yeah. I yeah, mean, this is yeah. 
it, this is just getting over on that and then just to be in line for whatever's next for her at uh, at mania which i think is going to be oscar um, oh i'm, I'm well, going I think it's going to be Asuka. I'm saying heel Sasha. Heel Sasha. Yeah, she does heel Sasha's going. Sasha. Takes out Bailey. I, heel Sasha. I think it's going to be Ronda. <laughs> it's going to be. I think, wait, I you think say, wait, 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 wait. Larry said Ronda? Yeah. <laughs> you think For Ronda's going to win? No. What? Um, for WrestleMania? Well, no, who's going to yeah, win the, the chamber? Oh, I thought you. Ronda. I thought you were making the match. I thought you were making the match for hey, who's No, hey, it sounded like you just said uh, no. Ronda's going to be in the chamber. She's no. going to pull an edge, take no, out no, Kofi no. Kingston, and come in here. Wait, now fair, which of the wait, 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 wait. Yeah. which of which of these girls is Kofi Kingston in this? <laughs> yeah, the blonde one. The blonde. <laughs> the blonde one. No, uh, yeah, 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 yes, Matt Carlin's. There's a scenario where Rhonda can get into the elimination chamber. Oh, absolutely. She's having the contract signing. All she has to do is be like, Kurt, I'll sign it, but you know, you're having a seven man elimination chamber, so why make seven women let me in that thing too? And then she wouldn't sign She's it. used to fighting in cages. Hatching. Yeah. She likes to fight hatching, in cages. She's sneak up through the hatch. <laughs> she pulls the well, Shawn I mean, the Shawn Michaels. They, they could they could or pull Ultimate the Warrior in WCW. Hey, Oh, they could say, hey, yeah. the men's chamber has seven people in it. Why doesn't the women's chamber match? Well, yeah, that's what matches. Why doesn't they, they have yeah. why don't they have eight? Rhonda, go in the men's. And plus, and plus, <laughs> Rhonda, Rhonda would technically have the most experience inside a structure like the elimination chamber. Yeah. Right, right. right. Um, bo- yeah, Bobby, exactly Bobby, and Mike, what are your what are your picks for the chamber? That's okay. The mic's over here. He can't. He, he oh, can't hear. He, he couldn't hear. It. That's all right. That's all right. Um, I. S- I said Sasha. I think's gonna win. I eh, I'll go with Sasha. I'd like to see Sasha win it too. I think Sasha and Oscar would be a good match again. You know what? I'm gonna change my pick. My, I'm gonna go with Mickey James. Oh, get out of here! Yeah. Fine, wow. I gotta go, go with my girl Mickey, Mickey James. James. You're drunk. Yeah. Going for the, the sword. Going sword for the six the time title in both matches. <laughs> No, no, because Elias is the last one in the chamber. You tell me that nobody's uh, gonna get eliminated before then. I don't think so. Think you don't think so? I think they're all going. I think they're all going to gang up and eliminate Braun. Seth uh, Seth Rollins is going another uh, uh, sixty-five minutes on the chamber. <laughs> yes, he's yes. going to be the sixty-five minute man. And then Shawn Michaels man. is coming out of retirement. Man. Yeah, and they're going to have yeah. a seventy-five minute. Iron I man think Braun is going to smash <laughs> open the chamber, and Elias <laughs> is going to come out earlier than he expects. Oh yeah, <laughs> I believe so too. I, I do need yes. to point out that Tina's in the chat room. Yes, and she's saying, "Don't forget that Sonya also used to fight in cages." That's true. That's, that's, that's true. a good point. That's true. a yes. good point. Yes, I. It's a good point, but I feel like everybody in WWE may have forgotten about it. That's the that's the fourth girl on the her graphic. In case if you need to, if you need girl. to pick that out there, sort her Street she was Fighter gimmick is going to go down the toilet as soon as Shayna Baszler gets moved up. Oh, even as soon as Ronda shows up, I mean, well, yeah. unless yeah. unless she starts looking like Chung Lee. No, <laughs> then it takes off. You, you don't to, just turn the into Chun Li overnight. <laughs> though. Yeah, that's a process. I, I mean, just dress. Yeah, just dress like Chun Li. Yeah, Shayna. Oscar, Oscar broke out the Wonder Woman stuff. So okay, if you're gonna be a street fighter, just embrace it. We do, Sonya or or be Blanca. Has to not only not skip leg day ever again. <laughs> she needs to do double leg day. Double Sonya, leg we day. need you to learn the spinning bird kick. <laughs> what do you think, Bobby? Oh, you said Sasha. Oh, Sasha. Yeah. Okay, I yeah. think we got everybody then. Yeah. No, I didn't. I okay, didn't. go ahead, Mike. Uh, I think Alexa's retaining. Yeah. I would. Uh, I would like to see Bailey though. Bailey, and then we have Bailey versus heel Sasha at WrestleMania. That'd be nice. That's what I'd like to see. I don't think that's gonna happen. That's interesting. That'd be nice. And of course, speaking of the women, Oscar and Nia Jax is going to happen again. And uh, do you want a lightning round this one real quick? Uh, Oscar, 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 Oscar. Hey, moving on. Moving on. Bobby, I'm sorry. Nia Jax deserves a little bit. I can't find my mask. Wait, wait. You alright, Bobby? We went too fast. I don't. I think Nia Jax deserves a little more than. Than what we. it will be good. A little more respect than we have we have given her, but yeah, but. We, uh, we I, don't think she, I, I don't yeah. think she wins. This is, this is the, Unless it's by some I, weird... I still like, think this is a punishment match for her tweet about Ronda Rousey. Really? This is a punishment match? I, I think it absolutely is. I think not being involved in the historic first ever elimination chamber for women, yeah, I think that's a punishment. Mm, I don't know. Not a practical joke. Like, they're trying to spin it by saying that if she wins, she's part of 
a triple threat match somewhere that doesn't make any sense because Asuka hasn't picked which champion she's challenging. Yeah, yeah but she's going to follow her. She's just going to tag along to WrestleMania uh, with Asuka, wherever mm-hmm. Asuka ends up. Um, whether that's, you know... Imagine and, if Asuka it's like a, the challenge for the NXT title. It's like an already cashed-in Money in the Bank. He just, yeah, yeah, it is. He's just like, well, uh, whoever you're wrestling, that's... So I'm going to be there. there. Yeah. Check in the bank. <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> yeah. That's the check. The, the check's in the mail. Yeah, it's the uh, check. Yeah, it's it's pending. It'll clear yeah. whatever. Yeah, you know, exactly. The next bank day. Exactly. It'll... And the match that we're all excited to see. Finally, the end. The culmination. This was not uh, on the Hulu cut, by the way. Uh, Woken Matt Hardy and Bray Wyatt in a uh, match that will have more than uh, uh, 500 people in the room. Uh, so... <laughs> It's Bray Wyatt on pay-per-view, so he loses. Well, well there's that. I <laughs> hope they do something interesting, like the, the the chambers down, and they do something. Or I no, I, Sorg, we we need a drone. We need King Maxwell. We need Queen Rebecca. We need what made this gimmick popular in the first place. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I could see them leading into some type of big blow off like that at WrestleMania with Brother Matt, Brother Nero. Coming back, mm-hmm. coming out too. I keep saying they need to redo the Hollywood backlot brawl for this year's WrestleMania with Bray and the Bronco. To a point, no, no, like not not with the Bronco, but like he has he has a lawnmower he can ride. <laughs> Lawn, or they can run through Bourbon Street or something like that. Like there's stuff you can do here. The voodoo match. Like there is stuff you can do, mm-hmm. but they're they. They're going to take the least creative or way the, the house out. Of horse if, match again. If Papa Shango shows up. Sister Abigail's going to show up. Dude. Now, if Sister Abigail shows up, now, now we got something. In the wig. I thought Sister Abigail was already Bray Wyatt, though. Sorry. Yeah. yeah, I think it's they. It's Bray Wyatt wearing no. some cheesecloth. Yeah, that, that's, that's what I thought. for that one because it um, they, or whatever happened. They got the measles <laughs> have, or something. Yeah. If the measles or something. Isn't that that's yeah, when that outbreak like happened? And the Bray and yeah, Mons. oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Bray yeah, and the Roman monks. and them guys yeah. couldn't wrestle. And then they yeah. Bray Wyatt had mono. Yeah. Jeez. <laughs> Anyways, well, the kissing disease. Plenty of wrestling. If you like the wrestling, if you like good lengths of wrestling, if you like a little bit of different wrestling, please go check out uh, indiewrestling.us. We got yes. video on demands, digital downloads, DVDs. Including brand new, we do have Rise Wrestling, the first episode or the first episode, first show uh, done with uh, Psychic Media Services production what? on there. That's it. That's it's it. Right there. It's amazing. Including the the amazingly, you like long matches. How about a half an hour of Lee Moriarty and Jack Pollock? Thirty five minutes. Thirty five minutes. Thirty five minutes of uh, of this. It was amazing. It was a good match, and uh, like I said, I, I've been often impressed. That when it, when there's a 20 minute match in Rise, you don't it doesn't feel like you just watched a 20 minute match is that, with is the that, with the batch of talent. That's is that Eamon refereeing that match. No, it's not Eamon refereeing that match. That's not no. That was Neville. No, it's not Neville. Either. It was Neville. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, but no, a lot of fun with these guys. Oh, this was yeah. actually this was on a uh, uh, Lee's uh, um, uh, Instagram when he tied up uh, Jack in the ropes. So uh, it was an homage to Jack somebody. I, I know you were saying so. But no, go check that out. And of course, we're having a lot of fun. There is like there is a wrestling show that we'll be involved with uh, with production every weekend until like nearly the end of March at this point. Between wow. the rise, between IWC, uh, between our friends at uh, our friends at uh, uh, RWA as well. Uh, IWC's Reloaded 4.0. Get the number right. Uh, just happened this past weekend. There were a lot of surprises. Uh, if you're with us, there's a, there's a the best dressed uh, locked and loaded in a TLC match with the upper echelon, of course. And uh, it, it was a you know nice surprises with a reset button. Gilberg made an appearance. The Sandman made an appearance. Uh, and uh, Shotzi Black Shotzi Blackheart made an appearance uh, for the women's title. Uh, Jinx came out and took on a friend of the show and uh, Canadian takeover of the show uh, Jackson Argos in a match. It was uh, really unpredictable. For them to have a full house, ran out of seats, and there was nobody announced except the champions and yeah. this, this TLC match, basically. Yeah. Like, that is amazing. Uh, and a really good night with them. That's available right now up there on IndieWrestling.us if you want to check that out. Thank you so much. And thank you to geez, awesome shows, great talent, and it's, it's been a great uh, run of that. Also, we have something special over on the Indie Wrestling 
uh, Facebook and YouTube page. Our friends at Black Diamond Wrestling uh, have some footage up there for free uh, of the Royal 8 tournament. The Haas tournament. I know Matt's excited over there. Beef! The entire oh, yeah. round one is currently available, and second, including friends of the show like Bulk, Nasty, um, Peyton Graham's on there, Brohemoth, and uh, Jamie Jameson. Um, it, it was a fun night, and uh, even the, the intergender tag team match with the Candy Mafia, Jinx, and uh, Andrew Palace on there as well. Uh, so go check it out. And I believe next next week's guest uh, is on there, Beast Man. Oh, yeah. Is uh, is part of that tournament as well. Yeah. that was uh, The lineup for that Royal A tournament looked fantastic. Mm-hmm. Just like eight super talented big wrestlers. And if you like old school, like big man wrestling, check that out. I've been watching the matches that they got put up, and they're really good. Yeah, go check it out. That's happening in West Virginia. So <laughs> a little bit over the border, but, uh, you know, just about an hour from yeah. uh, where we're at here yeah. in Pittsburgh. So definitely worth the drive to have some fun on a Sunday. Yeah. Because everybody runs on Saturday here in Pittsburgh. Uh, hopefully the Gabble everybody. David Lawless will be back there at some point. Good. Sundays are very challenging for me with my schedule, but uh, I'd love to get back down there. I love everything that Rick and uh, Jake are doing down there. So it's first, first show I went to down there had a Buried Alive match. Yeah, that was no slouch. Like the the whole Barry the Life setup was like really really nice. Yeah, you know, and uh, Sean like, Phoenix and Sean Phoenix and Yacht Rock fan, <laughs> fellow Yacht Rocker <laughs> and yacht rocker. Fire Breather. Yes, Sean Phoenix. Uh, so go check it out, IndieWrestling.us, and of course the Indie Mayhem Show the interviews a part of that as well. Thank you everybody for supporting that and supporting Indie Wrestling and supporting the Wrestling Mayhem Show. We'll be back after this with the big question and then Mayhem Mania. Sidekick Media Services. We are your sidekick in business for social media, video production, and more. Find out more at SidekickMediaServices.com. We are back, and I lied. We're not doing a big question. I forgot that's on hiatus since we're doing Mayhem Mania for the moment. But we got a hell of a crew with us, of course, on the line of uh, Bobby F. J. Town from Johnstown, PA, and Mad Mike from all the way up there in Poughkeepsie, New York, joining us. And we got a heck of a crew here in studio. Main Street Matt has joined us to uh, preside over Mayhem Mania. Say hi for the audio people that don't know what you sound hey, like. Hey, everybody. There he is. And, of course, Chad the Chad's still with us as well. Yes. Yep, still here. Yes, yes. He's been um, – now he's on timeout from host duties after last week. We'll get to that in and a moment. And what a great job Chad man, did last week. Man, He did – he was – he you Chad, you were almost perfect in your role. <laughs> almost perfect. Perfect. You just made one <laughs> big mistake. We, we we sometimes you just yeah you slip a little bit. That's okay. Yeah, was, yeah. You can't I was all put be great on the time. spot. I wasn't planning on hosting. Yeah, I understand. But, you know those moments of weakness toward the end of the round when you just want to get out of here. You're yeah. just you kind of like you just all right. A lot of it's a lot. It's a lot. It's a it's a lot of responsibility. We get that. You just you gotta know. hit that. Go home, brother. That's right. That's that's right. <laughs> and also with us, David Lawless, the gavel. David Lawless, Esquire, with, with his broken gavel. Big gavel. <laughs> well, you might need that if things go, I mean, things get kind of crazy here. Uh, Larry is sitting out. He's still around here. Hi, Larry. There he is. He's out there somewhere. But with us on, on the couch is Officer Dan Murphy joining us. Hello, criminals. Hello. <laughs> he is the tag team partner. Lawless in order in the IWC. The Boy, hottest Larry. duo going today. The hottest duo going. Sexiest. Oh, whoa, whoa, <laughs> whoa. Most law file? abiding. There you go. <laughs> Do they have the file? Yeah, yeah, he has the file right there. Yes. Because we know there's nothing sexier than abiding by law. It's ladies. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you for joining us, officer, and uh, keeping things. You're welcome. Keeping things, keeping things in order here. Morons. Well, yes, there it is. <laughs> we're going to need it. We're going to need it here. See in how we, we see how we did that? Yeah. Because <laughs> it is Mayhem Mania and a mainstream Matt. If I find your button... What the heck are we doing? Thank you for, for finding my button. That's new. Oh, geez. Oh, man. Sorgi. Um, all right. You know, Chad, you did such a good job of explaining it last week. I almost want to leave it to you this time. <laughs> but <laughs> All right. So Mayhem Mania is kind of like um, a competitive thought experiment. Uh, the idea is to we're trying to create the best WrestleMania card possible, humanly possible. Um, not necessarily predict what's going to happen, but create a perfect scenario whereby in a magical fantasy world, Vince McMahon, no longer compelled by self-control or fear of losing or running out of money, is going to go crazy because this is the, our one last shot to have the biggest, best WrestleMania of all time. And I've got the deepest talent roster of all time. And I'm going to make the greatest match matches card ever, possibly under 
God's hot son, whatever. Anyway, the, man. the catch is this is this is not like fantasy booking. You know, we can't pull people out. We can't drag Okada over from New Japan. That's no good. Uh, we have to operate within the bounds of reality. You have to play by the same rules as Vince. Um, so if it's possible that WWE could book a certain person to appear at WrestleMania, you can do that. If it's not possible, you can't do that. So there's a flexibility there in a gray area that can be played with a little bit, especially when we're talking about some of the news from this past week, Sorg. Oh, I mean, just within the past week, some great new possibilities have come up. Um, I mean, there was a hot rumor that Gronk wants to wrestle mm. in WWE someday. Oh, no. I oh, mean, sh- you know, Vince will back up the Brinks truck for that. Mahabali Shira has signed a developmental <laughs> contract. Matt, 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 and on, quiet, Matt, Mike. Matt, I'm, Matt, I'm on Matt, a roll. Wait, 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 wait. And finally, last but not least, um, out of the blue, WWE is back on good terms with Jeff Jarrett, and he's going into the Hall of Fame this year. I mean, who doesn't want to see Double J at WrestleMania, Sorg? I mean, come on. There's a hand hand raise in the background of a no. (laughs) Larry's not old enough to remember him. Uh, uh, Matt, uh, can I make make a declaration? No. (laughs) No, no, no. Hold on. on. It's more of a threat. Um, (laughs) Even even better. If, If... Anyone books Mahabali Shira, I will personally destroy every single Mayhem Mania match you create. What have I, ma- what have I missed on this guy? Don't, don't worry about wait, him. Wait. L- listen, the, 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 he is I, terrible. He okay. is absolutely That's why he's an NXT to terrible. Win. Yeah, and I'm fine with that. But if anyone books him on this shit, I will end <laughs> you. All right. So, um, unfortunately, you know. Um, you know, only on week one are we operating with a blank slate, so you can't necessarily pull something out of the blue. You have to make a change, basically, to the existing eight-match card, which I will run down for you right now. Um, and your options, I'll, let, I'll give you the options uh, for what your move can be sure. uh, before I run through the matches. You can either like swap one person for one person, one tag team for one tag team, um, to um, you know take half of the match out and bring in another half or third of a match or whatever. Um, you can just kill a match entirely, bring in an entirely new match, um, and you can be one-on-one tag team, you know, four-way, something like that. Don't go making 40-man battle royals. That uses up everyone. And or seven-man no seven gauntlet matches. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'd allow a seven-man gauntlet oh, no. match. Um, and uh, what's the other? Oh, and you can also add an individual or a tag team to an existing match if you think you want to take it. it to the next level. Got this it. four-way could be a five-way. This three-way could be a four-way. Yeah. No stipulations yet. That comes later. Okay. Um, in the game, uh, let's run down the matches here, Sorgi. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see oh, if the board. Go. There we go. Let's see if the board matches the website. Okay. Um, Elias versus EC3. Um, created by. Created by. Oh, that's me. But but let's say you guys say it was created by. Good job. Yes. I I can't. That's too far. Oh, okay. You say it. It's been oh, two I'll weeks. I'll say that part. Okay. Next one. War Machine versus Sanity Wolf and Young. Uh, that was created by Billy Johnson. Uh, we've got Charlotte versus Asuka versus Ronda Rousey versus Nikki Cross. Made by Mad Mike. Wow. We have got, this is the big beef ham battle right here. Killian Dane versus Bobby Lashley versus Braun Strowman. Thanks. Created by Chad the Shad. Good job, Chad. <clears throat> <laughs> Sorry, I just I, I so threw up. Have, I threw up a second. You right over there? You okay over uh, there? Yeah, I was mentioning how you made one big mistake, Chad, <laughs> last week. Yes. Bart Gunn <laughs> hasn't wrestled in 10 damn years versus Butterbean. Where did you get those pictures of the two of them is the better question. <laughs> well, that's Tony Garza of TheWrestlingRevolution.com that hooked those up. Wow. Thank, you, thank you for teeing up that courtesy <laughs> I right think there. he got them both off their current LinkedIn. I did allow this. Those are, <laughs> th- those are their LinkedIn <laughs> pictures? I don't know where he got those them from. Those seem very current to me. That's those yeah, those current. seem like the pictures that the private investigator that was hired to follow them got. <laughs> <laughs> No one's linking into either of those people if that's their picture. <laughs> they kind of look like mug shots to me, to be honest. Yeah, yeah a little bit. A little bit. Um, Some people do smile their mug shots. That was made by Larry, by the way. If That, yeah, that, that was come Larry's across. fault. Yeah. I feel like that Butterbean picture is the prototypical old person that gets an iPhone for the first time <laughs> that takes a selfie way too close. It's the equivalent of when your parents screamed into their flip phone when they first got it. <laughs> uh, you know, I don't like to punish people for the moves they make in Mayhem Mania Sword, but if I were a soccer referee, Larry would have a yellow card right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next up, we've yes. got Trevor Ricochet Man versus Pete 
Dune. Dune. Is how you pronounce it now? Dune. Thank you, Chad, for that. Yeah. Um, um, created done. by, by Mad, Mike, Mad uh, Mike a few weeks ago. Uh, we've got uh, Gable and Benjamin versus The Bar versus The Revival. I think I created that or at least adjusted that a few weeks ago. And we've got Finn Balor versus Alistair Black. Created by Bobby F. J. Town. Well done. Um, and those uh, are the ones, those are all ones that did not change. The last three did not change last week, right? Yeah, that's right. So um, so we've got some uh, housekeeping. We had a couple moves that didn't make it through the entire round last week. So under the Alex Cars rule, we allow those players to come back and resubmit a move. Typically, we let them go at the very end of the round. So it's a guarantee that their move survives. But because one of them was our viewer's choice um, move from uh, Cal Turner, uh, we couldn't do that. So we're just going to have Cal go first. And uh, he sent in his email with his move, and we're going to let him go first. Uh, so uh, here's the email from Kyle Turner. Um, I, uh, I get another shake. I get another chance to shake things up. With that said, I think it's logical to put down a match like Old Yeller. With that said, I turn the shotgun to Bart Gun oh, versus no. Butterbean. <laughs> Sorry, Larry. In its place will be the other match uh, I suggested and was talking about on Talking Mayhem Mania, the hottest damn show on the internet, Sorg, in case you haven't heard. I've heard. Uh, and Kyle Turner's match uh, to replace Bart Gun versus Butterbean will be AJ Styles versus Roderick Strong versus... Adam Cole. Oh my God! Oh, you just named three of my favorite wrestlers there, and basically took away six matches that I would have booked in that. <laughs> oh, I'm very sorry. <laughs> no, no justice for Bart Gunn, right? So let us hold a moment of silence for Bart Gunn. <laughs> He's <laughs> not dead. Harvey. He's not. But, they're also not dead. But do not friend, ever lose those pictures. Frank, thank, thank you for correcting my moment of weakness. Friend of the but show, Butterbean. He was one of my. He's one of my favorite guests on this show. Oh yeah, we 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 love Butterbean here, yes, don't we? Yes. <laughs> um, uh, I, I should mention before we let Chad go, um, we have the mystery envelope that's in play here. Oh, oh wait, um, wait, now wait, before wait. we started Mayhem Mania, I um, I uh, I don't typically play the game. I usually just officiate it, but. There was a match that came initially to mind to me that I think is just a, a slam dunk that must be put on this card. So I wrote it on a piece of paper and I put it in that there envelope. And uh, if anybody gets that um, uh, correctly guesses uh, the match that's in the envelope, um, you won't have to put it on the card, but you will get a bevy of uh, prizes that come here with Mayhem Mania, uh, incentives, ways to torture your opponents, things like that. So um, Chad... Um, you're allowed to proceed your guess with one yes or no question for me if you wish to uh, proceed that way before you uh, go on to your move. So uh, I'll leave the floor to you. And uh, after you make your move, um, who's up next? Officer Dan will be up after you. Okay. Do uh, these these people that are in these, this envelope here, um, are they current WWE rostered wrestlers? Define WWE rostered. Like, uh, you can see them on WWE television today. You clean them that way? Yes. yes. Okay. okay. I just had to make sure they weren't, like, somewhere else. Different promotion or something. Clean it up. Uh, oh, boy. I, I'm, not, I'm not sure. Let me, let me make my move. Okay. Last, okay. okay. Let's see here. Uh, this is a nice card here. Um, it's getting there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna add, add a, add a somebody to this. Uh, take that uh, American Alpha versus the Bar versus the Revival versus Adam Cole's buddies. Uh, what do you ever call them? Bobby Fish and Kyle O'Reilly. Yeah, Fish, formerly Fish Red Dragon. Kyle O'Reilly. Son of a bitch. The undisputed era. Ah, yes, undisputed. Why couldn't I think of that? I kept thinking because co- it's corporation. I'm name. like, oh, that corporation ain't right. And Fish and O'Reilly. That's a that's a uh, that's a tag team. As a sidebar, much. friend of the show Chris Larusso has wrestled the current NXT champions Bobby Fish and Kyle O'Reilly on Ring of Honor television nice. in a gauntlet tag team match <laughs> filmed <laughs> filmed in Nashville, Tennessee, I believe, and he was teamed with um, Joey Dadiego. Interesting. Yeah. Mm. 
Uh, my guess is the uh, uh, Batista. Punjabi, the modern day Maharaja versus Brock Lesnar. No. <laughs> thank, but thank you for that. <laughs> That's a good idea. That's a really good idea. You know I'm saving gender for Mahabali Shira. <laughs> um, Officer Dan, do um, you have any questions about how this game works? So you got, got an idea here? Question. All right. Um, the people in the envelope, do they have to be active wrestlers? I'll treat that as a yes or no question. Yes, they're both active wrestlers. They're both active wrestlers. Okay. Then no further questions then. Very good. Um, would you like yes. to make a change to the card or would you uh, like to uh, take a guess? The gavel's on deck. Yeah, let's uh, scratch out Alistair Black. <gasps> oh. You did it. You got a gasp. And replace him with Brock Lesnar. <laughs> Booyah. Okay. Well, that could be the WrestleMania main event. Graduated though. No, it would have been this week. It would have been this week. Yeah, one more. Week. Oh, just like Danny Glover. A one week from graduation. <laughs> one, week. one week from retirement. Good job, Officer Dan. Thank good you. move. Good move. All right, Gavel, you're up. Bobby's on deck. Do you have okay. any questions about how this game works? No, I think I get it. Um, the question I have is: Do I have? So I can't add a match, correct? You would have to. Eliminate one of these matches to create your own match. Yes. Could I add uh, I two or three people to a match to, to change it from a triple threat to a six six person tag? I'll only allow you to add one entity at a time. So Ooh. you can only add one tag team at a time and only one wrestler at a time. What about if it's... Okay. I, 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 I get the rules now. All right. Well, I... Um, so there's there's either one addition and, and maybe one swap out that I would do, and I'm looking at the Dane versus Lashley versus Braun match. Mm. I would love to let's take out Dane. Mm, yes, um, let's and let's put one of my friends who I think is going to be going to WWE at some point, but not as there. We're gonna put the big man Moose in there. All right. Put Moose in there, and then I would actually add uh, Batista to that match as well, so we can make four major big men. I can only let you add one of them, so put, put, Moose, put Moose or Batista. Put Moose in there. What's Moose's contractual status? Is he free of Impact? Uh, as far as I know, he's still with Impact. But I think... But, so, but so, it's Impact, so who knows? Well, exactly. Really? There's still air in between three matches. Yeah, that's that true, true, actually. <laughs> And he's, get, he's giving the knowing wink every single show from what I've heard. All right. We will, we will put in Moose. Perfect. We will check to, on Moose's contractual status. You got a lawyer right here. <clears throat> yeah, hold on. <laughs> we'll check on hold Moose's on, contractual status. Yep, he's good. If Moose is no good, we'll make it Batista. Got but it. But we'll check that. That's we don't fair. want to slow down the rounds. So we'll check that, and we'll tell you what we found out on Talking Mayhem Mania. Coming up after this on most better podcasting <laughs> I understand networks. it's the hottest show on the internet. Okay, so um, hot, hot, hot. the match that is in the envelope, is it a singles match or a tag match? Yes. Singles match. Singles match. This is so intense. We should really play like some thinking music or something mm -hmm. like that. It's, it's Wait, WWE no, against who? I'm going to go with uh, Dolph Ziggler versus Adam Cole. No. Hmm. Good guess. Bobby? Okay, question. All right. Does your man... Oh, wait, wait. Are we, are we doing the move first or the... Oh, no. You can ask me the question first. Does your, does your match contain a demon? No. Okay. <laughs> then I don't know. All right, then make a move to the card, there, Bobby. Okay. Got a right or wrong that was done last week. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have wrongs. We only have happy accents here on the show, Bobby. I'm gonna take off the Dane Lashley and Braun match. You mean the Moose, Lashley, and Braun match? Oh, wait. Oh, was that changed already? Yeah. Yep. Oh, that was changed. Never mind then. So close to the Alex Cars rule. 
Hmm. You could have been invited back. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> Hang out with Beastman next week. All right, take off uh, War Machine and, and Sanity. Ah, very well. <laughs> wow. wow, Ray Rose coming for you, Bobby. <laughs> I, Ray Rose going to come for you. I will help him find his cell phone. <laughs> <laughs> As I've done in the past. Yes. Um, you don't mess with Ray's uh, cell phone. We're going to have the iconic duo back in. Yes. <laughs> All right. Versus. Versus. Ember Moon. And Kyrie Sane. Woo. All right. Ooh, I like wow. It, Bobby. Whoa. I That's like a good it. one. Sailor oh. Moon. Sailor Moon. <laughs> Speaking of. Oh, my God. Gonna be oh, my Moon. God. The iconic duo versus Sailor Moon. Yes. Speaking of yacht enthusiasts, by the way. Yeah, right. Exactly. Right? Right? It all comes oh full circle on the it does. Show. It does. It's so adorable. <laughs> hey, hey, Matt. Yeah. Um, can I can I make a guess for the envelope? Nope. Nope. <laughs> no. Oh, fine. All right, fine. Fine. Nope. That's okay. Nope. All right. I guess. Hey, let's recap the card sword. Yeah, is that everybody? Is everybody's that's move? Right. Yeah, that's fine. All so, right. So, so what do we got? Good. We're home free. No Alex Cars rule or anything. There you go. All right. We got Elias versus EC3. We've got the iconic duo versus Sailor Moon. Uh, Charlotte versus Asuka versus Ronda Rousey versus Nikki Cross. We've got Lashley versus Braun versus either Moose or Batista. We're checking. Our research staff are on the case. <laughs> Looks good, right? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, we're going to have to see. All right. We'll see what happens. All right. It could change in, a, in an instant. Uh, AJ Styles versus Roderick Strong versus Adam Cole. Oh. Ricochet versus Pete Dun- Dune. Dune. Gable and Benjamin versus The Bar versus The Revival versus Fish and O'Reilly. And Finn Balor versus Brock Lesnar. Excuse me. You said it wrong. What did I meant, mean to say? It's Whoa. Brock Lesnar. Brock. Very Brock. <laughs> Anyway, thanks. Thanks for playing, guys. And I uh, hope you enjoyed uh, yourself. Nah, well, I'll tell you if we graduated any matches. But That's for uh, Talking Mayhem spoiler, Mania. The spoiler hottest. alert for Talking Mayhem Mania. No, it didn't. <laughs> that's, a fun, right. that's a fun game. I like that. All right. Well, on that right. note, hey, I want to give a shout out to our good friends at Bold Pittsburgh and Bold Sports. Uh, a few weeks ago, of course, they were right here on the couch. Uh, in, and with uh, some people from uh, Penn Brewery uh, doing a Super Bowl brunch. They're talking sports. They're having fun. Whoop, that's the wrong one. Uh, so go check them out. They're Bold Pittsburgh, uh, boldpgh.com. You can check out Bold, uh, Bold Sports on the Sorgatron Media Master Feed here on the uh, podcast network. Maybe you're listening to it already because that's how you're listening to this show. Uh, so thanks to uh, uh, Steve and and the crew over there uh, giving us some some great sports stuff. That's not not inside the squared circle, uh, and of course, uh, you know, including over at PNC Park, home of the Pittsburgh Pirates, and Slice on Broadway, as we got a tip there. Uh, so check them out, boldpgh.com, Bold Sports on the Sorgatron Media Master Feed on all your podcast places. So guys, it's time of the show to learn or find out what you learned from wrestling this week. We got a lot of you guys, Larry. You can chime in too if you'd like. You can get to a microphone if you have something to say. Um, who wants to go first? I'd love to start. You'd love to start? Yes. What'd you learn this Despite week Despite not actually being able to watch Monday Night Raw because of my power being out, I learned that wrestling can still get over with wrestling. Based on the number of people that have reported how great Monday Night Raw was, starting the show with a two-hour match. Awesome. That's what I learned. Awesome. Uh, what about you, Officer Dan? You got uh, what you learned in wrestling this week? Hmm. I myself didn't watch as well, so uh, I have no comment, but I got nothing. <laughs> we can come back if you have anything. Uh, Matt? Uh, yeah, I, I learned that if a wrestler comes out in a t-shirt that reads Monday Night Rollins, expect a large dose of Rollins <laughs> in your wrestling show. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Chad? Uh, I learned. Let me drop some knowledge on you here too. Okay. I learned that uh, I am ready for an Iron Man match. Uh, the last one-hour Iron Man match was back in 2009. Mm. 
with okay. Cena and Orton. Uh, there have been three Iron Man matches out of the 12 that they've had, and uh, three of them have been in Pittsburgh. Just a little FYI. Really? Yeah. yeah. Huh. The, that, but the last hour-long yeah. Iron Man match that WWE has had was in 2009. And after last night, I am ready to see another full hour Iron Man match. That Cena Orton one was crazy. They like had the pyrotechnic yeah, involved. Yeah, it was mm-hmm. six to five. Yeah, mm-hmm. what was the score of that one? Producer Missy. I learned that two truths and a lie with you is even more fun. <laughs> okay. On the raw wrap up. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, that's good. That was good. Okay, that's that's good. Yeah, that, it was. I, I the first part, the first question was my favorite one. When <laughs> oh, he pinned he pin X clean. He pinned X Y clean. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. you're like, there are two truths. <laughs> like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, because it was like, uh, it was uh, Seth. I said, I said Seth Rollins beat Roman Reigns clean. Seth Rollins beat John Cena clean, or Seth Rollins beat Finn Balor clean. Which is false. Two of those, yeah. two of those things are true. And as somebody that had no recollection of, had no idea what happened on Raw that night, yeah, that was a confusing question. <laughs> um, now it comes together. Oh, the, it was, by the way, that was, I was watching the, because I, I, while I was staying away from the chat room so nothing got spoiled, I get the little counts up here. And and it was, in the 20 minute show we did last night, has had as many comments as we have now on this show. So, <laughs> like, it was, it got people going. So I really appreciate that. Thanks, guys. Wrestling. Wrestling. Absolutely. Yep. Wrestling. Yep. I feel wrestling. like that's what wrestling fans have been asking for for a is while. Is wrestling? Yes. It's it's an uncanny formula, isn't it? Yeah. So Are you not sports entertained? Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Bobby FJ Town, what did you learn? Uh, I learned to be careful what you tweet. <laughs> 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 but, the, but the funny thing was, uh, since I changed my name to uh, Cringes McBasketballs from uh, Impractical Jokers, like people all day have been like tweeting me in practical jokers lines and I've been cracking up. So that's part of the fun. There you go. There you go. Maybe they think you're a writer or something. No, no, I wish that'd be amazing. Uh, what about you, Mad Mike? Yes. What'd you learn? I, I learned that Elias needs his own MTV unplugged special. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I, I saw, I saw the ride along <laughs> episode with mm. Elias. Yeah. Where it's just him in a limo talking about his travels and the only reason i'm saying he needs a whole half hour to himself is because i assume eventually there's going to be a song called the ballad of logan shula <laughs> Ooh. That, okay the of, okay the ballad of logan shula that could be fun that could be fun officer dan did you learn anything Still no. Did you learn but, anything from the match you were in this weekend? Yeah, oh, here's what Officer oh, Dan learned. Oh, He's oh, got a title okay. shot at KSWA this week. Oh! Shh, get on the DL. This is where we're supposed to plug what we're doing in our wrestling careers, Dan. <laughs> I'm just a regular guy right now. <laughs> this is why I'm the attorney and he's the police officer <laughs> in this group. Do you need an advocate, Officer Dan? What's that? Do you need an advocate? Yeah. Oh, the <laughs> yeah, do you know one? No, I, already I, have one. I know one, but I, I don't. I don't know. So I this happens. With another guy. I sit in on stakeouts with Dan. He's got his headphones, and then he can't figure out which direction the sound's coming from. <laughs> it's it all makes arrest, it's, it's makes arresting shots. people really hard. The gunshots yeah. mess my ears up. Yeah. But I do have a question though. For those who did watch, was there any "This Is Wrestling" chance at all? No, but there was a no. "Burn It Down" chant, which I was flabbergasted by. I can't believe that got over. Burn it down. Yeah, that's what. Ra- that's at yeah. the beginning of Rollins' entrance music now too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I, didn't ex- I mean, it, it was a ni- I mean, I think it's a nice addition to the to the entrance. But yeah. I never expected fans to actually chant "Burn it down." It's amazing. Arena. They'll, they'll he's he's wearing everything. Sean Phoenix's gear too. Yeah, yeah, it is. With the fire pants. I know. If he comes out and breathes fire, I think Phoenix is gonna. You're gonna see Phoenix actually turn into a flame because he will be so <laughs> incensed with the fact. Oh, so someone getting towed out there? No. Is it your car? I hope not. Is it a Lincoln? Uh oh. Do they tow out here? I, they shouldn't. Not this late. No, I think no. we're good. Okay, just hanging out. Get that gavel ready. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just shit. Has your it? car been towed <laughs> or impounded? My flashlight. <laughs> it's no longer a gavel. <laughs> awesome. Um, geez, I learned you don't get in Sandman's way. <laughs> ah. I uh, well, you know, we're, we're wired now at ringside and uh, with those cameras, and I I couldn't move. 
and he was uh, making a beeline for the corner to put the beer in the corner. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I just completely got like body checked by Sandman at ringside. That's really funny because my eight-year-old son learned that same lesson the last time the Sandman was at IWC. Oh, really? Because <laughs> he came rolling through there and like saw my, you know, my eight-year-old son who's like, you know, up to my waist and like yeah, almost yeah. goes barreling over. He's like, oh, sorry, buddy. And he's like doing one of those you don't get in sam man's way don't get in no sam no man's no way. you don't the music's playing just don't stop him grab my thigh you no, know what else it. i learned is that gilberg's <laughs> entrance and music still gets a huge pop oh yeah biggest pop of the night awesome the video and you can see it it's over on iwc's facebook page the video um that played after the reset button because he was obviously in the locker room ready to go in case the reset button hit and the stds knocked on his door yep because who else in IWC would escort out Gilbert? Gilbert, but the STDs, the sexy, talented dudes. Highest props to Corey Futuristic for keeping the straight face while <laughs> trying to keep a straight face during that entrance. He's like right behind Gilbert the whole time, just like <laughs> trying to hold it together. Did you see Ruxpin, though? I missed Ruxpin. Oh my gosh, his face. He's just like the whole time. He's like. <laughs> He doesn't know what's going on. <laughs> what but, is this? But, but you can't really see him, though, because, you know, he's invisible. But that's anyways. right. That's right. He's imaginary. Yeah. To you, me, and Gilbert. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Guys, I think we got it. Larry, did you have anything? No. No? You're good? You're good back there? I have one thing. Oh, well, you, have, you, you I, do have one thing. I did learn something. You did learn something. It seems like before this week, in every match that I'm in, and I get thrown over the top rope, I hit the stairs. Every time. You just find it every time. Yeah, if you put them, I noticed it was like in completely different place I, tonight. That's... I think the staff, like they push it like to where I'm going to fall. Yeah. <laughs> but this weekend didn't happen. So I'm grateful for that. Oh, my God. Uh, from the chat, of course. Um, from the chat, catching up. Alex Miller out there uh, on the West Coast there. You learned that if uh, if I signed a paper, wink, winky, winky, something happens. What? I think he. I think it's something to do with Lucha Underground. Lucha Underground. Okay. Oh, 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 oh yeah. He, I think he did. Uh, the first tapings were this weekend, and I think he may or may not have been at at uh, at the New Temple for mm-hmm. Lucha Underground. Uh, oh, cool. Uh, taping. So uh, we. Well, so so we're gonna have to chime in with Alex Miller uh, uh, for some later later uh, uh, chats from being and, there and in person. And we are working on getting um, our our good buddy Krista Joseph on yes. the show. Yes. To talk more about Lucha. That, that is lying. He has to be on for Mayhem Mania to make another match uh, brought to you by Lucha Underground like we had last year. Uh, yes. Dari- <laughs> um, well, I don't know if this is what is learned, but Dave Ponder says the paraphrase Barbie and Sorg on the Raw wrap up uh, show, math is hard. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, and I think, is there any other learns in there? Am I seeing uh, all the chat well, here? Well, Tina, Tina was asking if there was a secret Carter Jarrett takeover. Um, part two, <laughs> yeah, because Jeff Jarrett's in the Hall of Fame, and and to, I had to respond. I, I said that Jared's last line in the Hall of Fame will be "Execute all the six sided," and then all the TNA sleeper agents in the crowd will just destroy anyone involved in WWE. It'll be like, it'll be like, so it'll be like that's up. like half oh, yeah, the, the main roster. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. more people than you think. Well, do you that's guys a, remember that's where... Xavier Woods? That's AJ Styles. That is um, oh, Eric you Young, Bobby Roode. I thought you meant sleeper like, fans. Oh, no, 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 no. Sleeper agents. Like sleeper all the people, I gotcha. all the people I gotcha. that I gotcha. came I gotcha. over from TNA. You got Samoa <laughs> Joe. You got Kurt Angle. Like the, They tea. could legitimately do a TNA sleeper cell in WWE. Sleeping fans that they wheeled in from Impact taping. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it was, oh well, God. it's like remember, remember when ECW popped up in the uh, Alliance angle? Oh yeah, like and, the invasion. Yeah, yeah. yeah. When yep. it was like, like they were they were there, and then like the Dudleys and Rhino were like, "Hey, remember where that ECW?" That dropped. was one of my favorite moments from that entire era. They dropped the ball. Yeah. 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 Well, there's that. You know, moments. So, well, thank you everybody for joining us. Thank you, of course. David Lawless, the gavel. Yes. Is this plug time? It's plug time. Perfect. Plug time. <clears throat> First of all, thank you to all the fans and friends out there in the internet watching. Um, and also, since the last time we were on the show, like Sorg pointed out, uh, I went from being one place to now literally everywhere. I think <laughs> Pretty much. I think in January, we had three weekends where we saw each other at wrestling shows. So, yeah, um, yeah. Uh, so yeah, proud to announce that I am uh, part of the Rise roster, IWC and uh, KSWA. Lawless and Order will be in action at KSWA this weekend. 
7 o'clock at the Spirit Lounge in Lawrenceville, right off Butler Street. Uh, they, have, they have beer. They do have beer. They have, that there they have two bars. Yes. Uh, yeah, yeah, they do. David so. Lawless takes on uh, uh, Sal Scarpone, or Sly Scarpone, and Officer, Officer Dan. Dan Murphy takes on the KSWA heavyweight champion, Mitch Napier. Whoa, right in there, huh? Yeah, that all comes to an end, though. He's, no, he's not going to be champ anymore. No, obviously. And then... If, uh, if, if I... Don't get you know get through to him somehow. He's gonna get through to him. I have that battle contract. contract. So you do have that contract. We've he seen the contract. videos online. Yes, yep. about that. Okay. Uh, also check out Rise Wrestling March tenth, uh, where you'll have a special appearance by the Gavel David Lawless, mm-hmm. and on March seventeenth, IWC seventeen at Court Times Sports Center, mm-hmm. where Lawless and Order will be in the house as well. So uh, also also uh, on that card, um, Gilberg versus James Ellsworth. Correct, I believe. Uh, Andrew Palace versus Wardlow mm-hmm. at 17. Uh, and DJZ cool. versus Gory. Mm-hmm. Um, the Sam former, Elias the former, back. the former baby, baby face fire. Yeah. Back in the day. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, and I say Sam Elias, uh, Sam brother Elias of Corey Graves, doing some great things in uh, uh, AAA, I believe. Mm-hmm. So good to see him back in the area. Friend Britt, of the show as well. Britt Baker versus uh, Laurel Von Ness. Mm-hmm. Chelsea Green. Um, yeah, it's going to be a good show. Mm-hmm. Looking forward to it. So yeah. it's IWC 17 and all the different places. And, of course, you can find links to all these promotions over at PittsburghWrestling.com. Yep. Uh, so you can see the full calendar there. So, um, And anything you want to plug? He did it all. He did it? You got he, it all? He's the mouthpiece. Cool. Where can, <laughs> where can, I just I just serve justice. Where, That's where can it. the people find you guys online? Uh, you can find me on Officer Dan Murphy. Uh, I think it's at IWC Officer Dan on Twitter and Officer Dan Murphy on Facebook. There you go. Uh, David Lawless, Facebook.com slash Gavel David Lawless, Instagram, Gavel David Lawless, and Twitter, Gavel Lawless. So and I need to get my Twitter followers up. Uh, I'm kind of down everybody, on that, Everybody, everybody, everybody in the chat room. Can we drop it in the chat room so everybody can click on it and follow them? Perfect. Uh, there you go. There you go. Both of these guys. Uh, let's get you guys some Thank new friends. Thank you. Instagram is, uh, is my preferred form of social media. There you though. go. Hit yeah. all of it. Um and uh, I forgot. Oh uh, yes, and also hit him up at four one two five five five. Dun 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 dun. Uh, <laughs> dun, 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 dun. We won't answer. Yeah. No, no, we, we, we won't let answer. it go to voicemail. No, or one eight hundred L A W L E S S. There you go. That works also. There you go. And thanks, uh, Mainstream Matt, for presiding over the <laughs> Mania. You all right? All right. Oh, I was just making light of the public works truck driving around aimlessly outside. <laughs> and I was like, is he pretending to plow? Like, what's happening out there? It's I, 80 I guess degrees. I, What's he doing? I think he's creeping Practice on us. He did pull into a spot like he was plowing like snow. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, Practicing. Just doing the motion. There is no off season in Pittsburgh. Night, and thank you, uh, off camera Girthquake, uh, Larry, uh, <laughs> hanging out with the. Thank you for the one fingers wave. I love you too. Uh, Chad the Shad on the Twitters. Yep, that's where you can find me. There you go. And I think you'll be at RWA with me this weekend as well, right? Probably, yeah. Probably. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, we'll be out there. I'll look for uh, Team Sidekick Media uh, out there. And we'll be checking out some wrestling as we do every weekend, guys. This is amazing. Uh, living the dream. But uh, And thank you, Mad Mike. Almost forgot about Mad's, our motors. Yep, Mad Mike4883 on the Twitter machines. Also, uh, just... Look out for when I tweet about wrestling. There you go, and definitely look out for Bobby F J Town on the on the Twitter, who's just booking Raw apparently. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Apparently, he's a big deal on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> just for today. <laughs> Thank you, everybody in chat room, <laughs> wrestlingmayhemshow.com. Thank you, producer Mi- Missy, for trying to keep all this straight. Uh, May- Mayhemer, co-host of the year, producer Missy. Absolutely. There you go. Uh, we'll see you guys next week. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.